On every coast of the United States, seafood is part of American culture. Not just prepared and consumed, it tends to be celebrated. People socialize around this great tasting food from the ocean, and there is an increasing awareness of the health benefits. But consumption of fish and shellfish has grown exponentially worldwide. And most fisheries experts have come to realize that the oceans can no longer keep pace with the demand. Fish stocks are in such bad shape in so many cases that we've got to stop fishing those fish to have any hope of bringing them back. And, and that, of course, raises the question of, well, what are we going to do? It's long been hoped that we might farm the fish instead of catching them in the wild. And in recent years, tremendous advances have been made. Over a quarter of the world's seafood is now produced by fish and shellfish farms, also known as aquaculture. But whether caught in the wild or farm-raised, there are serious health and environmental issues involved that few seafood lovers are aware of. With more than half of the Earth's six billion humans living within a hundred miles of a shoreline, and many millions more arriving each year, ocean fish populations are being depleted worldwide. Ninety percent of the big fish in the world's oceans are gone. All this in 50 years, in my lifetime, we have had more impact on the wildlife in the sea and during all preceding human history, our capacity to extract has scaled up so enormously in such a short period of time. We have passed the limits of resiliency on many of the species that when I was a child were considered to be a source that could never run out. Several different types of aquaculture are being developed industries collectively referred to as the Blue Revolution. But a debate rages over concerns that some forms of fish farming pose a serious threat to wild fish populations and to human health. <laughs> 